Yeah, so uh, it's, it's the problem 982, trip, triples with bid rise N and you go to zero. And I kind of had this uh, uh, N cube solution that I kind of optimized a little bit by using C even, uh, which is <laughs> kind of fun, but it's kind of amusing in a different way. Uh, but definitely um, not, not something that, uh, uh, um, you know, I, I was happy with or proud of. Uh, and also, also, I think one thing with these kind of problems that I'm always kind of a little bit annoyed about is that they, they put the constraints all the way in the bottom of the notes. Uh, and and what that what and when that happens, um, like uh, like some of these problems, to, like the uh, like the complexity and the kind of the uh, uh, running into time issues and stuff like that, uh, to, de depends a lot on kind of the uh, the ends and the, the constraints and stuff like that. And in this case, um, I mean, it, it, this problem uh, that was the case with this problem, uh, and as a result. Um, you know, you have to cater your solution to your the the problem constraints, uh, and and yeah, uh, and when when that's the case, you should not leave the notes order on the bottom after you explain everything and kind of maybe even give people a misleading way. But in any case, uh, I think as soon as I logged on last week, I realized that um, I kind of missed this part a little bit. I mean, I I saw it, but I didn't really kind of uh, really understood what it meant. Um, and I think if I really just like I don't know. Sometimes you have bad performances in general, but two to sixteen is like what sixty five thousand or something like that. Uh, so in that case, you just create sixty five thousand buckets, and then that, and then with that, there's an easy uh, n square solution. Uh, you just basically count the number of buckets, and then you and then go over the last. Uh, uh, um, so for i and j, you you brute force. Uh, uh, um, uh, you prefer a table with at most 65,000 elements. And then lastly, uh, uh, just do a linear loop for 65,000 times 1,000, which is uh, 65 million. And then that should give you the number of counts, right? So I'm going to program that right now. Uh, uh, yeah. So, hmm. I should do Oops. Yeah, maybe I should do a constant. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
เอาเออก็ถือว่า set up to your zip โอเคอืมอ่ะจอดกุดอืมทุเรียจะ skip some stuff but okay okay <coughs> So actually, you see that the one time is even better. The apparently, t o n y is better than half. Okay, so yeah. Uh, so I think going back to this farm, I think uh, once again, it's just about kind of uh, coding to the constraints and kind of making sure that it, it is what you think it is. Uh, I think I, I don't know how I feel about this farm yet. There's a lot of dislikes. I think it's kind of a. Um, I mean, these kind of uh, optimizations you definitely come into from time to time in in the real world, uh, but. But it's something that um, I don't know. I I don't think I like it as an interviewer, just because. Um, I mean, well, this technique does come in, into play from time to time, kind of just having a lookup table and, and kind of uh, uh, using it. But uh, eh, I don't know. It's a little too uh, 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 like light bulby. Like you have to kind of see the trick and then kind of do it for me. Uh, but I, that said, I think if uh, going back to last week, if I had this farm, uh, I think. Possibly about about working with someone else, the interviewer, uh, they'll probably give me kind of um, uh, 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 kind of give me hints along the way, and then they'll maybe uh, uh, let me kind of uh, uh, not go through the wrong path too much. Uh, uh, so maybe in that case, it's okay. That if it is a little bit more interactive than I would like, but maybe it's okay. Uh, that's what I would say for that for now, because uh, right now I'm a little biased on this. 